didn't like when Donald Trump was president and was a lot better behaved. And I think to accuse Donald Trump of being pro-Putin completely ignores the reality on the ground. Well, what Fetterman might say were he here is he, uh, that uh, Putin was getting a lot of things that he wanted out of Donald Trump, so he didn't need to be as hostile. Donald Trump was clearly more friendly to him uh, than other presidents have been one way or the other, but also uh, Donald Trump was more hostile to, to NATO. If there's one thing that really grinds my gears, it's paid Biden regime stooges like Jake Tapper endlessly lecturing about Trump's lies while they, and Joe Biden for that matter, are prolific liars themselves. In this case, Biden fanboy Jake Fapper attempts to reignite the Russian collusion conspiracy theory with the old big lie that Trump is some sort of secret Russian agent. But is Trump actually a pro-Putin puppet? When you get through the media lies, the reality is much different. Well, first, Jake, the idea that Putin loves Donald Trump or Donald Trump loves Putin is absolutely absurd. Putin was actually pretty well behaved during the Trump administration. He invaded another country during the Biden administration. So for these guys to say that Putin prefers Donald Trump is completely ignores the underlying realities on the ground here. We actually had some real security deterrence when Donald Trump was president. And of course, it's not just in Ukraine. So again, what, what Fetterman's saying is preposterous. Reality shows Putin didn't like when Donald Trump was president and was a lot better behaved. And I think to accuse Donald Trump of being pro-Putin completely ignores the reality on the ground. Real quick, I gotta jump in here. Vance mentions that Putin invaded during Biden's administration. But Putin also started this entire invasion back in 2014 during the Obama-Biden administration. Are you guys seeing the pattern here? This was two years after Obama had been accidentally recorded telling Putin's puppet that he would, quote, have more flexibility after the election and was mocking Romney for calling Russia a major threat. President Obama was overheard giving Medvedev a very candid political assessment of his ability to deal with missile defense and other issues, saying that it was important for the incoming president, Putin, to give him some space. This is my last election, yeah. After understand. my election, I have more flexibility. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. I transmit this information to Vladimir and understand what Oh, that was different. In fact, the Obama-Biden-Hillary Clinton policy with Russia was a complete disaster that helped lead to the current situation, which lackeys like Jake Fapper here run cover for and never talk about. After Russia invaded Crimea in 2014, Obama and Biden refused to arm Ukraine. When Trump became president, he did arm Ukraine, which I'm pretty sure Putin wasn't happy about. So who was actually placating Putin here? Oh. What Fetterman might say were he here is he, uh, that uh, Putin was getting a lot of things that he wanted out of Donald Trump, so he didn't need to be as hostile. Donald Trump was clearly more friendly to him uh, than other presidents have been one way or the other, but also uh, Donald Trump was more hostile to, to NATO. Oh, well, allow me to retort. Okay, before Vance responds, I just want to get in here real quick and point out how utterly absurd Jake Tapper's response was. True, Trump's apparent strategy to deal with these dictators was a bit of a departure. It seems like he butters them up so that they'll like him and do what he wants, but also fear him because he's a loose cannon and they're not really sure what he'll do. He's dangerous, a menace, a loose cannon, a walking time bomb. You get off saying that. I give up. Nobody has any doubt how Joe Biden's going to react with weakness. And then Jake Tapper throws in that Donald Trump is supposedly anti-NATO, which is a lie that they repeated endlessly when he was the president. The truth is that Trump didn't take a hard line against NATO itself, but against NATO's dependence on the US for military support, which we found out was true. He also warned that they were too dependent on Russian oil, something I'm sure Putin wouldn't want him doing. And what did NATO members do in response to what Trump said? They literally laughed at him along with the media, who who use these warnings to push their false Trump anti-NATO pro-Putin narrative. Germany is totally controlled by Russia because they will be getting from 60 to 70 percent of their energy from Russia and a new pipeline. And you tell me if that's appropriate, because I think it's not. And I think it's a very bad thing for NATO. You know, we're protecting Germany. We're protecting France. We're protecting everybody. And yet we're paying a lot of money to protect. Now, this has been going on for decades. This has been brought up by other presidents, but other presidents never did anything about it because I don't think they understood it or they just didn't want to get involved. Germany will become totally dependent on Russian energy 
if it does not immediately change course. It is unprecedented. It violates every norm of an alliance. Specifically, I'm talking about the word captive and controlled by when he refers to Germany and Angela Merkel being controlled by Vladimir Putin and Russia. It is unprecedented language. It is a real threat to the alliance. It's a threat to the democratic, liberal, post-war world order. But Trump was right all along. They were too blinded with their hatred for him to see that. And if they would have listened to him, they might have been in a better position to deal with Putin right now. I, I, what, what I think Donald Trump did is he engaged in strategic deterrence. You have to negotiate sometimes even with bad people, even with your enemies, but you have to deter those people. And if you engage in smart deterrence like Donald Trump did, he doesn't invade countries like Ukraine. So I don't buy that argument, but uh, I, I, I understand why Democrats repeat that talking point. Well, let me... A human. <laughs> all right, folks, that's about all I can stand of that. But if you enjoyed it and you're still here, might as well hit that like button and leave a comment to let us all know what you think about this clip. As always, keep checking back for more and I'll see you all in the next one.